Welcome to Like Mathematics. Today we are going to learn about how to use number lines to operate addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The number line is an easy tool to compare numbers. Every point of a number line is assumed to correspond to a real number and every real number to a point. You can use a number line to compare numbers. If a particular number is farther to the right on the number line than another number, then the first number is greater than the second. For example, 0 is bigger than minus 1, and minus 1 is bigger than minus 2, so on. 1 is bigger than 0, and 2 is bigger than 1, and so on. Let's find the location of 3 over 5 in this number line. The denominator is 5 and the numerator is 3. 3 over 5 is a number bigger than 0 and smaller than 1. First, you need to make the denominator the same. So let's make 0 and 1 to a fraction with the denominator of 5. 0 equals 0 over 5. 1 equals 5 over 5. The denominator is 5, so divide the number line into 5 equal parts. To divide a segment into 5 equal parts, you need to add 4 marks to the space between 0 and 1. Look at the numerator. The numerator is 3, so label the third point from 0. Adding positive numbers. You can add positive numbers on a number line. As we already know, when two positive numbers are added, the sum will always be positive. For this reason, when adding positive numbers, the direction of the movement is to the right. To add 1 and 4, first locate number 1. Then move to the right 4 steps. The number that you land after moving 4 steps from 1 is 5. Therefore, 5 is the correct answer. Adding negative numbers. Adding 2 negative numbers results in a negative number. The direction of adding negative numbers is therefore to the left side. To add minus 2 plus minus 4, first locate minus 2 on the number line and move 4 steps to the left. The next number is minus 6. Therefore, minus 6 is the correct answer. Subtracting positive numbers. When subtracting positive numbers, the numbers move to the left with reference to the value of a second number. For example, subtract these two numbers. In this case, the second number is 6 and the first number is 5. Locate number 5 on the number line and move 6 steps to the left. The next number is minus 1. 
Which is the correct answer? Subtracting positive numbers. Subtracting negative numbers. To subtract two numbers on a number line, move to the right with reference to the value of the second number. Subtract two numbers. First, locate the number minus 2 on the number line. Minus minus becomes positive. So, move six steps to the right, which gives four. That is correct answer. Multiplication can also be done using a number line. In this case, you have to draw a longer number to accommodate the values. You can draw a number line by choosing a suitable scale depending on the numbers being multiplied. To multiply 2 by 4, You can solve this problem by starting to count from the origin moving two steps four times. 8 is the correct answer. To multiply minus 2 by 3, you can solve this problem by starting to count from the origin moving minus 2 steps three times. Minus six in this case is the correct answer. Division operation is also known as repeated subtraction. The division should be repeated until you have zero left. Let's consider 10 divided by 2. When 10 is being divided by 2, one time, you basically subtract 2 from 10 one time, and you have A left. And A can be divided by 2 further, so the division is not completed. When 8 is being divided by 2, you subtract 2 from 8, and you have 6 left. This is the result of 2 times of subtraction of 2 from 10, and 6 can be divided by 2 further, so the division is not completed. When 6 is being divided by 2, you subtract 2 from 6, and you have 4 left. This is the result of 3 times of subtraction of 2 from 10, and 4 can be divided by 2 further, so the division is not completed. When 4 is being divided by 2, you subtract 2 from 4, and you have 2 left. This is the result of 4 times of subtraction of 2 from 10, and 2 can be divided by 2 further, so the division is not completed. When 2 is being divided by 2, you subtract 2 from 2, and you have 0 left. This is the result of 5 times of subtraction of 2 from 10. And 0 cannot be divided by 2 anymore, so the division is completed. The correct answer is 5. Now, we'll learn how to represent x is being divided by y on the number line. As we have learned that division is a repeated subtraction. The subtraction should be repeated 
until you reach to zero on the number line. Therefore, we we'll perform the subtraction by moving towards the left on the number line. Let's understand the steps of showing division on the number line. When 8 is being divided by 2, first mark on the number line and plot the multiple of 2 starting from 0. Second, starting from 8, we keep subtracting 2 until we reach the number 0. Each time we do subtraction, we move by 2 towards the left of 8 until we reach 0. Thirdly, the number of steps of 2 that we move toward the left of 2 to reach 0 give us the answer. So the correct answer is 4. When minus 8 is being divided by 4, first mark minus 8 on the number line and plot the multiples of 4 starting from 0. Second, starting from minus 8, we keep subtracting 4 until we reach the number 0. Each time we do the subtraction, we move by 4 toward the right of 8 until we reach 0. Thirdly, the number of steps of 4 that we move towards the right of 8 to reach 0 give us the answer. And negative 8 is being divided by positive 4. The answer is the value with the negative sign. So the correct answer is minus 2. In division, we divide x by y and we want to know how many times of division is performed. The division is ended when the dividend is reached to 0 or smaller than the divisor, so the numbers cannot be divided. Let's go over the terminology. The number which is getting divided here is called dividend. The number which divides a given number is the divisor. And the number which we get as a result is known as the quotient and remainder. The quotient is the number of times a division is completed fully while the remainder is the amount left that doesn't entirely go into the divisor. When 20 is being divided by 5, 5 goes into 20 four times. Therefore, four times of divisions are completed fully. While 21 is being divided by 5, 5 goes into 21, 4 times 21 minus 20 equals to 1. So there is one remainder. 4 times of divisions are completed, 1 is the remainder. This is done through a long division as well. Since 8 is being divided by 2, I'm going to use a long division and divide 8 by 2. So we have to see how many times of 2 goes into 8. We know 2 goes into 8 4 times and you multiply 2 times 4 is 8 and we subtract 8 from 8 we get a remainder of 0. The correct answer is 4. Minus 8 is being divided by 4. We have to see how many times of 4 goes into minus 8. 
we know 4 goes into minus 8 minus 2 times. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. And we subtract minus 8 from minus 8. Minus minus becomes plus. Minus 8 plus 8 equals 0. We get remainder of 0. Therefore, the correct answer is minus 2. We have learned about how to use number lines for the mathematical operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Thank you for watching and please watch other related videos on my channel.